Hi there Deep and so welcome to this week's video which is all about the new user interface that is going to be finding its way to your devices really soon. Big thanks to Eric Ma who sent me the photos and some information and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the video if you would like more videos like this in the future. So this is going to be the new UI um, and it's going to be winging its way to your device pretty soon and it's pretty cool. It looks really really nice, the colours are nice. It's pretty swish. So we're going to go through each part of the of this screen of what's actually on it. So the first thing is the nodes. You're going to have a node count at the top, total used, how many is in the network, and so on. We also have the logos that are being used for the serve services connected around the world on the new world map, which is really smart as well. And also we have stuff on this block. Um, it tells you about all of the block stuff, you know, like how many ads have been blocked, how many DNS filtering things have been done, um, how much money you've saved, which is really weird. So we're going to have a look at that when this UI actually drops. Um, how much data you've saved and the number of relocations, which is probably how many in bits of information have been sent around to different places. We also have a new sidebar. However, it's pretty similar to what it is currently. Um, however, it doesn't look like there's any tabs. So everything will be streamlined in each compartment. There won't be like different little bits on the side. You also have the system info, which is going to give you a glance like what is your IP address, um, the uptime and stuff like that. We also have the Wi-Fi settings and things to do in regards to the Wi-Fi hotspots and things. And also we have a brief view of the router logs so you can see where information is going and what has been done recently. We also have the new mode thing, which tells you which working mode you're in at the current time, because there's like three or four different modes. And we also have the app relocator, so you can see it at a glance um, where your tunnels for the app relocator apps are actually going. We also have real-time data on traffic stats, which is at the bottom there, so input, output. And we also have this really nice round gauge, which tells you about your CPU and RAM you usage on the device itself i'm wondering if it goes red and it gets too high that'd be pretty cool so that is it and you've seen um you've already seen this i'm sure on tweets and things in the past so the information that i received today from eric Ma, big thanks to him is some sneaky peeks at some other parts of this and we're going to get into that now all right so firstly we have this now it's best to be in a full screen mode on this video to see what's actually in this however it is a speed test it'll have its own unique um, part of the interface where you can test the connection you have so you can test the ping speed upload speed where it is download speed and all that and it's all looking pretty if you look there on the bottom right you can see that it looks really smart uh, similar to the speedtest.net pages that you get Right, and another part is you have this scheduled reboot. So you go onto the uh, reboot part and you get a massive button where you can reboot your device. But you also have this new and improved sched schedule thing so you can set a time for your device to automatically restart every week, which is really nice. We also have a new sidebar, which you've seen in the previous video, or the part of the video, um, which I just got a picture of it close up, so I thought I'd put it out there. And this is what you're going to see if you connect to your device using a web browser on your mobile device. Um, it's all streamlined for mobile devices and obviously you'll be able to save this page as an app on your phone. So rather than go to Safari or Firefox, go to 34.34.34.34, you'll just be able to tap on, on like an icon um, and it'll take you straight to it. And it looks and plays like a kind of app, which is really smart. I like it. So those are your sneaky peeks of the pages which are going to be available as part of the new UI. I think it looks amazing and big thanks to Deeper for working on it. That's obviously taken a lot of work and it's going to be really cool. It makes the devices look a lot more professional and it's going to be really smart. So now let's get on with the other news that I have, which I kind of teased. And it's all about the new app. Now you guys are waiting for the app. I'm waiting for the app. It's really going to be a big deal. However this is the app in its current form now so i mean just today i've had two updates on this app right they are updating it all the time it's getting better and better however um if you haven't already please go into the description get an account the referral codes there i make nothing from it it's just a referral code like an in invite code download the app to your phone and have a play with it it's free for now um and 
I've got some big news about this. I just found out today um, that if you're a mobile phone user, so say you have an a I, iPhone, okay, and you download this app and you use it, you can share your mobile phone data, which will then allow you to become a node on the network. And as a reward, you will have free access to this app. Okay, so if you haven't got a device, but you download this app by sharing the internet of your phone, just like a, a, a physical device, you become a node on the network and you then get this for free. Okay, so when you install it to your phone, very well connect to somebody else's phone and connect to um, the internet through that. And as a reward from them, they will get this app for free and be able to connect to other people on the network, physical nodes, to then browse the internet in a secure way. Now, one caveat is that the mobile phone aspect of this, so it only applies to um, phones, okay? So if I have a mobile phone and I share the internet and I get, it, I get the app for free, the only people who will connect to me as a node will be other phones okay it won't be a node that can be used by the entire net network it's a bit of a trade-off but that is pretty huge because a lot of people are in 5g areas they have really good internet um and no they don't you use it so they might as well share it um and that is it that is the kind of bombshell that i've got going at the minute but i mean that is big news because that means that say you have 165,000 physical nodes which everybody can connect to but 500,000 people download this VPN app well that creates two different subsets of nodes so you'll have one which can be connected to by absolutely everybody um, and then you'll have another set of nodes which will purely be for more mobile phones and 3G, 4G, 5, 5G etc. Now it's really interesting how they're going to deal with IPv6 however um, they've it's on the board. They've achieved a lot more than that. They've done really well with the packet deep inspection, app relocator stuff, um, and getting through the ad blocking and things. So they know what they're doing, and this is really smart. So thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do want to buy a device, don't forget you will get the app for free if you buy a device, as far as I'm aware. Um, you'll be able to bind it together. So if you're going to buy one, please use the code DeepNot at checkout and you'll get an extra 5% off and you'll help me as well, which I really appreciate. So thank you to everybody who's watched the video. Um, it's great news, it's very big, and um, it's, we're, we're just waiting. I know the token price sucks, um, but this is a very, very, very long-term hold. And uh, there are some people who can see the, the true potential of this, and there's some people who just can't, and they twist and mourn. You know, it's just the way it is um, here. So. Thank you very much, and I will see you later. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.